Look at this beautiful sunflower. But there's a dark secret surrounding these beauties. In today's episode, I'll show you why you might consider not planting sunflowers near other vegetables in your garden. You're in the garden with Patrick. Before we cover some of the negatives about sunflowers, I wanted to cover some basic facts about sunflowers because I'm really not a hater, okay? Um, so sunflowers are an annual plant that are native to North America. Sunflowers are usually known for their large, vibrant flower heads, which can grow up to 30 centimeters or 12 inches in diameter. And that's not really all. Some of these sunflowers can reach up to like 10 feet tall. The largest is, I think, 30 feet tall. And did you know that sunflowers are just not a flower? It's a flower head that has thousands of tiny little flowers called florets, and those are what the uh, florets develop into the seeds. So a single um, sunflower like this can produce hundreds of seeds. One of the coolest things about sunflowers is their heliotropism. That means that a young sunflower head follows the movement of the sun from east to west throughout the day. The daily dance helps them maximize photosynthesis, but did you also know that when they're mature, the sunflowers usually stop tracking the sun and they're permanently facing the east. So this helps attract the pollinators like bees and butterflies in the morning when they're most active. Sunflowers have a rich history and cultural significance in Native Americans. Uh, they first cultivated the sunflowers as early back as 3000 BC, and they're used for food, oil, and dye. And then in the 16th century, the Spanish explorers brought sunflowers to Europe where they quickly became very popular, as you can tell. So sunflowers are not just pretty to look at, they're also incredibly useful. The sunflower seeds uh, are a very popular snack, and it's a good source of oil that can be used in cooking and also cosmetics. In fact, Sunflower oil is one of the healthiest vegetable oils available. It's rich in vitamin E and low in saturated fat. One of the issues with sunflowers, and perhaps the most interesting, is what I found out firsthand in my garden, is the tendency to repress the growth of other plants. So I want you to take a look at my garlic. It wasn't really ready to be harvested yet for about another month. But this sunflower seed uh, sprouted and it looked kind of nice and I thought it was going to be beautiful, but it killed my garlic. It killed my garlic and everything within three feet of the plant. This is because sunflowers are allopathic and that means that they extrude a toxin that stops nearby plants from growing. Well, most plants are affected at least somewhat but pole beans and potatoes are especially susceptible and obviously my garlic too. Be careful when you plant sunflowers around anything in your vegetable garden. Well, if you enjoyed this video and you found something uh, helpful, please hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that icon, bell icon, so you'll get more videos like this. And drop a comment below if you've had some issues with sunflowers like I have, or uh, you have some sunflower stories that you like to share. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy gardening.